All right, good morning guys. This is Brandon from iFix Your Eye. Uh, today we're gonna be taking apart the iPhone 5. Um, as you'll see in our previous video, we did do a drop test on it. Uh, cracked the screen pretty good. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and take it apart, see what's inside, uh, kind of show you um, you know, the process in taking it apart as this varies from the, the previous models. Um, first we're going to use a pentalobular screwdriver to take out the two bottom screws. Um, it's the same screws that's in the 4S and 4. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Alright, now on the iPhone 5, uh, the screen, the back doesn't slide up like on the 4 or 4S, so trying to take it apart that way won't get you anywhere. Uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to get a flat tool such as this one here, uh, basically pry along the sides of the phone, uh, and, and basically you'll start from the bottom by the home button and work your way up. Uh, being that this phone's smashed, um, it may kind of fall apart, uh, but we'll, you know, be as careful as we can without trying to shatter it too much. There we go. All right, now that you got it apart, you'll find that all your ribbon cables are up at the top right corner. Uh, you will need a small Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws up in here. Uh, this will allow you to remove the ribbon cables and take off the LCD. Uh, attached to the LCD is the home button on the back here. That is also attached with uh, two Phillips screws. Um, makes it kind of easy for doing a repair on that. Uh, as well as the front forward facing camera which is uh, at the top of the phone here. Uh, that is also held in by a few uh, Phillips screws. Uh, we're not going to take that apart because it's not really necessary. It's easy enough to uh, take out two screws. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove this pan right here, uh, take off the ribbon cables, and then uh, go into the battery removal process. Okay, and now to remove the three screws holding in the LCD digitizer and front camera cables, uh, we're going to remove these three screws. Uh, make sure that when you take these screws out. Okay, so now we're going to take off the front panel screen here. Uh, to do so, we're going to remove the three screws here. Uh, make sure when you take these out that you place them to where you're not going to lose them. Um, you know, they are very very small and can be easily lost. Don't want to lose any of those. And I'm trying to hold this up so it's kind of hard to see them. Okay now to remove this metal pan here uh, you can just either you know use your finger it's fairly easy it comes right off. Um, now in the top right hand corner here you're going to find your three ribbon cables uh, they're going to be for your LCD, your digitizer and as well as your front camera. Um, with that you can either use a, uh, we suggest to use a plastic pry tool um, I'm just going to use my finger so it comes off pretty easy, there's that one the second one and then the third one pops right off very easy um, and they basically go in line like that Okay. Uh, now that we have that front panel off, you now have the basic housing that has your logic board, uh, your battery, and, and um, rear camera. Uh, we're going to remove the battery now. We're going to take off these three screws here. Uh, that will allow access to the ribbon cable to detach the battery. Um, now to remove the battery, once you have the three screws out, uh, you can use a, plast uh, a metal uh, pry. Uh, you don't have to apply much pressure, you know, just get underneath it enough to where you can uh, get it out without breaking it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take these three screws out. Again, make sure you put them in a spot to where you're not going to lose them.
Okay, uh, now that we have this cover off, uh, it comes up very easily. Again, these, these pants come right off, um, so that's why it's important to keep your screws. Um, if you lose any screws, uh, the pants might not be held on uh, securely, which may cause in a ribbon cable being uh, disconnected and cause your phone not to work properly. Uh, so again, we're going to keep everything together, and then now we're going to disconnect the battery. Uh, very simple, the cable is right here connected to the logic board. Uh, just go ahead and simply lift up on it. It's very easy, everything comes up very nice. Uh, now to remove the battery, um, we can use a, the uh, metal pry tool. Uh, if you have plastic, that works as, as well. Not so much, sometimes they like to break, so I like to use the metal one. Uh, there's some adhesive on the back of the battery, so it's going to cause... Um, for a little hesitation, but just apply a little bit of pressure and it will come right up. And here is the iPhone 5 battery. Slightly larger than the iPhone 4, 4S. Um, it is a little bit taller, a little bit uh, slimmer. Um, so we'll have to see how this battery holds up. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and take out the logic board in this device, um, being that this is the first one done. Uh, you're going to have to kind of bear with me on this. I'm going to remove the, uh, most of the screws I see that are uh, retaining the logic board and the cables. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started on that. I'm just going to want to take this little plastic tab here that uh, is for pulling out the battery. Uh, just stick it off to the side here, that way it's out of your way. And remove all these connectors from the board. Probably be a good idea to take a picture of them, you know, before you take them apart. Uh, that way you know which order they go in. Okay. Now that the cables are clear, I'm going to go ahead and remove some more screws holding the logic board in place. Go ahead and pop the rear camera out. Let's see here. There we go, that's for the flash. There we go, we should be getting close on getting the logic board out. Just a few more screws. Might need to grab a uh, flathead. Sometimes the pentelobular works on uh, the pre-threaded screws. Okay, now that I got my flathead screwdriver, we'll go ahead and remove the two screws down by the battery port. And make sure that you do take your SIM card out because if you do not take your SIM card out, uh, the logic board will not come out and you may end up damaging the port on the board and or your SIM card. So make sure you do take that out previous or prior to uh, removing the logic board. Let's see here, what else we got holding us down? 
I'm going to go ahead and move this cable back. And that's about it. It's coming out now. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, and we do have a few screws up here at the top of the housing. Um, you may want to take those out. I believe that we may have to in order to get this out properly. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we got the logic board uh, semi out, we're going to go ahead and disconnect another antenna connector. And there you have it. There's your iPhone 5 logic board. And uh, that's about it. We're going to remove the uh, rear camera again. It's just uh, two screws and a plate that covers the, the connector. Um, most of these connectors, everything's been popping off pretty easy. That's why imagine that they are putting covers over them and securing them down. Um, just make sure that you do unscrew the two screws up at the top. It is necessary. Uh, so again, make sure you take those out. Um, only thing left here we have uh, is the vibrate motor up at the top. The dock connector down here at the bottom which is secured by more Phillips screws. Um, and then your back housing. So That's about it. That's your iPhone 5 teardown. Um, Enjoy.